Okay, um, this is my first go at doing a screencast, which is where instead of me just talking over something, you get me pointing at things and pointing at other things and explaining things as I go through. So, this is the citric acid cycle, as hopefully you can recognize, and it's a pretty good diagram. I may use this next year, I hadn't spotted this. I had to find a diagram that wasn't under copyright since this should be appearing on YouTube. Um, try doing the pentose phosphate pathway, curious lack of decent figures which aren't under copyright for that. But this TCA cycle was found under Wikipedia Commons and is free to use, and it's great. So, there's citrate, the product of a 4-carbon oxaloacetate and a 2-carbon acetyl coenzyme A. comes together via citrate synthase to produce citrate, 6-carbon. Water is removed to make a conitate. This is more important in citric acid synthesis because we want to stop this reaction here and you have iron and lack, lack of iron rather and copper and all these things which will inhibit it. So we've got a conitate, add water goes to isocitrate which is our first sort of move around of the molecules here. Now I'm going to do the TCA cycle and follow up with a bit of alkylate while I'm here. So isocitrate still got a 6 carbon but not for much longer dehydrogenase, removing protons, decarboxylase as well, isocitrate dehydrogenase but there's decarboxylase activity, 6 carbon down to 5 carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, alpha ketoglutarate, remember lots of amino acids being produced off this, it's a nice carbon skeleton, but as part of the TCA cycle, dehydrogenase also decarboxylated down to 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon, succinyl coenzyme A. Reducing power in both cases off to the electron transport chain. NADPH here, not off to the electron transport chain, off to lipid synthesis along with that from the pentose phosphate pathway. Succinyl coenzyme A, 4 carbon, ADP to ATP to make succinate, or as is more properly done, GTP at this point. But depending on the organism, remember I said some organisms can use ATP, some organisms rely on GTP. Remember, GTP down here, high levels of that, inhibits the production of acetyl coenzyme A via the bridging reaction. So we really need to sort of shunt this diagram a little bit that way. So, on to succinate. Succinate dehydrogenase, not enough energy to pass it to NAD, but enough to pass it to FAD. So this can go off to the electron transport chain as well. Still four carbon sugars all the way on here. Fumarase, rather than fumarase, not sure why they call it fumarase. Fumarase to malate with water, one, two, three, four, still four carbons, but our last oxidation our last removal of protons is between malate and oxaloacetate. Still four carbons, but some more protons removed off to the electron transport chain. Oxaloacetate, a four carbon, waiting for acetyl coenzyme A to be added to make the six carbon. It's nice here, shows you all the ones that are reversible and all the ones that are not. So, there's the TCA cycle. Its products, CO2 and CO2, NADPH, NADH, ATP or GTP, FADH and NADH at the top there. But what you guys did earlier on was all about the glyoxylate pathway and that is where your 6 carbon sugar here, isocitrate, is broken via isocitrate lyase into a 2 carbon, 1, 2, and a 4 carbon molecule. This 4 carbon molecule continues around the TCA cycle. This glyoxylate gets converted into acetyl -coen uh, gets added to acetyl coenzyme A to make another malate molecule. So rather than just running around losing two CO2, making some reducing power, and having one malate molecule, you end up having two malate molecules. Why is this? Well, it's for when oxaloacetate is being pulled out to make um, amino acids. So in your TCA cycle, you go all the way around, and oxaloacetate is missing. So how do you make citrate again? Well, because you're using lots of molecules at the same time, sometimes this gets passed over here to make two malate molecules. One to continue going round and one to turn to oxaloacetate to make amino acids. And that, in short and brief, with lots of me poking around and pointing at things, is glyoxylate um, pathway, if you like, and the TCA cycle. The benefits of this, hopefully, is that you can click on different parts of this talk so you don't have to listen all the way through. You can go to the bits you want to listen to. Um, hopefully it will be useful. I will put it up on YouTube. Um, hopefully this will be the first of many. Thank you.